Hi, this is Andy Frame from Arm, and I'm with Jacko Wilbrink on the Atmel stand at the Embedded Systems Show in San Jose 2010. So, Jacko, can you give me some insight into the announcements that you've made today? Yeah, sure, Andy. Um, so, we're announcing today a uh, new class of uh, Arm 9 to 6 based uh, uh, embedded MPUs running at 400 megahertz with a built in crypto engine. So we do a hardware encryption of AES, SHA, uh, and a triple DES. There's a growing need for security. You probably saw that already in the market. Yeah. And uh, people want to uh, store away data in a secure fashion, send it off in a secure fashion, or and you know, they want to authenticate applications they are downloading, for example, making sure that uh, somebody hasn't really uh, mixed up or changed some content in their application, or there was an, uh, an error during the transfer. So the basically, I mean, um, it needs to be done in hardware. If you want to stream it, it's mm -hmm. um, a factor of 100 uh, gain if you do it in a hardware manner. So we get 300 megabits per second roughly on an AES-256 encryption. Okay, so some pretty demanding applications should be available for this processor. So hopefully we've got a chance to see some of the demos that are available today. Yeah, we have a few demos up and running here, uh, either based on WinCE, Linux, or QNX. And, and we also have some nice wireless demos here, We're all running on the same class of uh, performance ARM 926 based 400 megahertz products from Atmel. Okay, thanks a lot, Jacko. So here we have the uh, SUM9 M10, the 400 MHz ARM 926 based embedded MPU running uh, a video stream. If we just start that up here, we just open a, a video. So basically this is a D1 video running on an XVGA screen. It's uh, uh, using a hardware coprocessor. So it's H.264 uh, encoding basically, which you see uh, Pretty nice results, uh, nice uh, flavor. So we can move to um, another type of application running on the same class of processor. So this is an uh, ARM9, uh, same class, 400 megahertz. It's called uh, G45 from Atmel. Uh, this runs a QNX operating system, and uh, it's basically for an in-house display unit. You can see temperature, you can put it up, or down, okay, this case is up, this case is down, of course. You can move to a different room. So here we were in the basement, now we go to the main floor, same thing. Individual spaces can be controlled. So there's a lot of uh, demand for this type of uh, uh, applications you might know. Um, here you see some consumption data which you can look at, come back to the home. You can also control the lights, so some telematics applications are built in, you can put it down. Uh, you can also go to all lights here, turn everything off when you go to bed, and there you go, it's done. So if we move another step further, here we have uh, Android running on an ARM 926 based embedded MPU at 400 megahertz. Some people said that it's not possible, but we definitely can run Android on this type of, uh, of class of processors. So here we go in the uh, calendar application. We can go out there. We can have here global time maybe. That's uh, pretty neat also. We can spin the, the earth. And uh, if we go back here, we see that we can move up and down. Depends where the applications are. It's pretty neat. Okay. Something else we want to show you is, uh, that's brand new, it's just coming out. Uh, it has been developed in the, in the past weeks by a company called uh, HND Wireless, uh, based in Sweden. Basically, you have here a wireless uh, extension card, SDIO, which is connected to a SAM 9M10 uh, evaluation kit. So this application we are showing here is either uh, being a, a running in uh, an, an video, so this is um, an MPEG-4 uh, video stream. We'll have even some audio with it. Um, this is just starting up. Basically, this is connected to um, um, an access point, a wireless access point, which is then connected to a server. And that server is running uh, Bonjour and is able to uh, 
stream in real time this video clip over the wireless LAN network. We have uh, another application running here. This is a telematics application. Basically you can select uh, some lights or some shutters and if you look up here, if we just switch it on, it's just switch on the light. We can move to another lamp. If we move to the other one, where is it? There we go. My fingers are sometimes... There we go. We switch off on another one. So that's another type of application and all this can be used uh, um, with the new uh, uh, devices we are announcing here with the embedded encryptology if you want to control better your security aspects uh, of your system and uh, data transfer. Okay, so thanks a lot, Jacko. Some really interesting applications, really showing the power of the of the development boards and the applications that you're targeting, etc. So thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome, Andy. Okay, thanks.